As a reader, I've always dreamed of having a cozy, aesthetically pleasing reading corner where I can have all of my books and sit comfortably and read and have it look really cute. So this year, I finally decided to transform my office and create my dream reading corner and I'm going to take you through the process. So here is a before of the room we're transforming. It's used as an office currently and I share it with my mom, so this is her side of the room. And it used to be our playroom, so that's why there's like a huge whiteboard on the wall. And yeah, so this is her corner of the room and then over here is my corner of the room. And as you can see, I had my old bookshelf and my book cart and there wasn't enough room for all my books as you can see them all laying on the floor. And I had nowhere to sit and it just wasn't ideal for me. So here is gonna be the breakdown of everything we're gonna be doing in this video. So first we'll need to clear out the room and then we'll have to cover all the holes and then paint the room, build new furniture, and then lastly decorate, which is the fun part. So let's start first with removing the old whiteboard from the wall. I did it! You're scared me, right? Why? Because you're going... <laughs> I'm scared it's going to pop me in the face. covering the holes. Have I ever done this before? No. Do I know what I'm doing? No. Am I prepared? No, not really. Um, let me show you what I have. I got my scrapers and then I have this wood filler. Is this what I need? Wood? Let me text my parents. The fact that it says wood filler scares me because the wall's not wood, right? And I don't know what I'm supposed to use. We have acquired the correct thing. You need wall repair, not whatever I was about to put on the wall. Sonnet Shifter Audio presents. I'm glad my mom died. Why Jeanette McCurdy? I'm too busy working on my own wake up material. It's time to paint. Do you like my shirt? It's my painting shirt. Okay, we got the big roller, as you saw. What a sleigh. Okay, so we got that. I got these. This little roller. Then I also got this kit from Home Depot that has two rollers. Or no, just one roller, but two little thingy majiggies. A paintbrush. And that's the tin. The tin is really what I needed. I had this thing, handy paint cup. So like, if I want to do this, I want to do the edges maybe. Plastic essential, I'm about to do this everywhere. Ooh, the paint and primer in one. And it is white. Yet to take a break. This looks terrible. Are you pushing down? Why are you not pushing down? If you put pressure, it's better. What? If you put pressure. I am, see? I don't think you are. Not enough. Early on. <laughs> Yeah, I know. No wonder I struggled yesterday. That roller sucks. Yeah, that roller is so much better this one.
Through a screw. And that's the only screw there. And, uh, my phone. No, my phone's over here. Never mind. Okay. Take two. One of the <laughs> one of our bookshelf pieces was broken, but we have enough from the other bookshelf that we can build one bookshelf. If that makes sense. So we're building one. Oh. Two on each side. You don't do the inside, only do the outside. Okay, I organized them. <laughs> We're gonna. It's perfect. Alright, I'm going to sleep. I think, okay, so we have one bookshelf here, but I don't think it's going to stay there. I think it's going to have to, like, go over, and then we'll have the other bookshelf here. Again, that one's going to be moved over. And I think two will fit here, and then I think I'll still have room for, like, some sort of chair in the corner. I'm going to make room, because I need a chair to read. And I've been trying to, like, pick out a chair. <sighs> Why is that hard? Why is that the hardest thing I've done in a while? It's so dramatic. I need to not be so dramatic. People think I'm so serious. I did not think it was going to be this hard. I'm just indecisive. I'm looking for like the chair, you know, and I'm just not finding it yet. So I'm going to share a few options that I have currently. And this is after like a week of searching. So the first one is from Amazon. It ha I like this one because it has like a little ottoman. And that way I have the option to like put my feet up if I want to and kind of like lay back. Or just have the chair and like sit if I want to. And it's kind of small and I think it's cute. I don't know. That's the op that's option one. Option two is this beanbag chair. I have mixed feelings. Like I like it. And I've seen it in like people's videos on TikTok. And like it looks really cute and comfy and cozy. <sighs> but I don't know. I like it but I think it could be one that I regret. Option three is the um, Papasan Papasan chair from World Market. This one is like a beloved favorite. Like a lot of people like this one. And I like this one. I think it would work in like the corner more. And it looks comfy. I feel like I could like curl up on it. Because I want something that I can like read on comfortably and curl up and also like sit on if I want to like sit. You know? Option four is this like little like kind of like swivel chair from the Drew Barrymore collection at Walmart it is also like fuzzy or like furry kind of not furry I don't know how to describe it but it's like that new trendy material I'm pretty sure and it looks kind of comfy too and like I can curl up on it and the, I feel like it would, again would fit a corner because it's like slanted I don't know I don't know those are my options right now that was a big rant about chairs that's my thoughts right now that's my thoughts we're building the new bookshelf soon when it comes in on Saturday Because once you're in it, you can sit anywhere you want. 
Say again, a little more from the wall. Oh, see, so. it keeps. I love this. <laughs> I'm gonna lay you forever. Okay, the reading corner is almost complete. So we have the bookshelves up and I decorated them in a different video. So go watch that if you want to see me decorate them. And now we're just going to finish this area of the room and also fix this lighting because the lights that we have in here, they are like warm lights. So they're really yellow. So I always keep like the lights off, but when I'm filming, I need light. And so right now I have like a ring light, but it's just not the vibe all the time. So we have new light bulbs. Let me grab them. Okay, so I got new light bulbs and they actually changed color, so I'll be fun. And then we're going to put some stuff up on the wall and then fix my book heart. And then this area will be done. Okay, this is the brand we got. I'll let you know if they're any good. I haven't tried them yet, obviously. <sighs> Anyways, we got the smart bulbs, multicolor and tunable white. So they can change color. They connect with Amazon Alexa and there's also another app. I'm just going to... Wing it. I don't have a ladder or a step stool up here right now. Okay, we got one. Getting them like started is the hardest part. <laughs> I just saw myself. I look so funny. <sighs> I should have really gotten a ladder or a six step stool because my arms are killing me. Okay, I think I connected them through the app, but we need to turn the light on and see. Okay. So they work. <laughs> they are in fact green. So let me try to fix that. Ooh, I like that one, but like, it's kind of right. There. Yeah, that one's cool. That one's basically doing nothing, but it looks cool. See, that's good. That's good lighting. This is a sleigh. I recommend these lights so far. Okay, we're gonna put the prints up now. I want them to go on this wall right next to my bookshelf. And I got a bunch of prints from the literary loft, so we're gonna open them. I think they're gonna look so cute on the wall. Oh my gosh, there's a bookmark. I'm gonna cry. They have the cutest prints, and they have so many different bookish prints. I'm gonna be definitely ordering more probably soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they give you like this little bookmark. That's so cute. <gasps> That's so cute. Okay, so we got this one favorite word. This is from Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. Okay, then we have this one from Beach Green. That one's so cute. I love that one. Knott's Harbor from Happy Place. I love this. This is just so beautiful. Oh, another one of Emily Henry's The Sunshine Falls one. Oh, I think this one's from Book Lovers. I haven't read that one yet, but I wanted to grab it because I know I'm going to read it soon. That one's beautiful too. They all have like a sunset vibe. I love them. And then I got, oh, this one's funny. You've got to make some sacrifices from Harry Potter. He's going to sacrifice himself. No. Oh, no. No, you can't. There must be another way. You know? And it's pink, so. And then the last one that I got. <laughs> this one um, is from the Shatter Me series. Beautiful. These are beautiful, and they all kind of like have the same vibe. They're all like pink, so I don't know. Now's the pressure of like having to put them up on the wall. Like I don't know. I don't know. Okay, it's the next day, but we're finishing the reading corner today. If it's the last thing I do, we're finishing it today. Okay, so all we have to do, literally all we have to do, is put these prints up on the wall. But I have been. I have just been scared to do this because for some reason I feel like it's permanent once it's on the wall. It's not. And I've like photoshopped it on my iPad like so many times different ways. And I'm just going to use tape. Is that the best? No. I could also just move the chair, but I don't want to do that. I don't know if these are straight at all. How does that look? Oh, so cute. That is 
it's so cute. I love it. I'm obsessed with that. Here's all the prints up close. And these are, again, from the Literary Loft. You should definitely check them out if you're looking for some bookish prints. Okay, the last touch to the office is to finish this book cart. It's in shambles right now. So I'm going to just fix it, and then I'll show you what we end up with. The only TBR I had for January is this series, so I'm just going to put them on here. A little book face. These are so cute. Um, this one I think is from Etsy, and then I have another one I'll show you in a sec. And then I have this one from Amazon. I'll link this one in the description if you want to get one. Okay. Okay, let me show you the book cart. So on top I have the Lego flower bouquet and then I have my current TBR and then this little book vase and then these little things with crystals in them. Down here I just have this little bin full of like book tabs and bookmarks. Another book vase and then this little like light up book thing. I'll show you. So it opens like this and it lights up. My dog <laughs> is entertained by that. And then the last shelf just has like a little picture frame and then like random other book decor that I might put on my shelves one day. Okay, here is the finished reading corner. I hope you liked watching this video and watching me kind of recreate this whole room, especially the reading corner. I'm so happy with how it turned out. My dog's trying to jump up here right now. But I'm so happy with how it turned out and I can't wait to read in this corner all the time. So if you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll see you really soon with another video.